And now here's going to be a review on a car that I uh, meant to get a hold of a long time ago. Never was able to get it due to the fact that basically it only seemed to come out in like one one place. It was just Indianapolis. Um, Indianapolis Motor Speedway area. So finally was able to get that now. But, um, we don't need to look at the box, but we got Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. And then Graham Ray Hall 15. Alright, let's see this. Lovely die cast. This is one of my favorite paint schemes from the 2014 season. We got J Head. J Head. That's what it looks like to me. J Head. And then we got. R R L L on something else battery tender Honda fifteen National Guard Graham Ray Hall National Guard and then the Indy Car Series logo right there R R Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan then it looks like something else I can't really read it apologize Honda National Guard Firestone fifteen we got Verizon P1, Siemens, I think, Arrow, Firestone, and then nothing on the back there. Alright, that really looks like it's about it. Um, well, since this is almost. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change it midway through. I'm gonna go ahead and do. A review on the other one of the other cars I got. Uh, we'll go ahead and review this too. We got Tony Canons 2015 NTT data. Um, I wasn't originally planning on putting this in the review, but might as well. Green light, limited edition diecast mode chassis, 10 Tony Canon NTT data, ship can answer racing, Verizon any car series, Tony Canon. Eight plus a person. If anybody remembers where that's from, diecast mode chassis, limited edition, green light. Tony Canon. You can read the bio here. Verizon IndyCar series. We NTT data Verizon IndyCar series. All right, so. Let's look at this. TNT and TT data. Verizon IndyCar series right there. Chevy 10 and TT data. TNT and TT data. Uh, something's comfort solutions and TT data. TT data. TNT. Verizon IndyCar series and TT data. Chip Ganassi Racing. Chevy. Firestone. Akuma, I think. Verizon P1 award. And we got NTT data on the deck lid over here. Or not the deck lid, I apologize. And then nothing else. So, two quick reviews. And two lovely blue cars. I'm not a Tony Kanon fan by any means, but I like, like that car. And I do like Graham Ray Hall Fairmount. I think he's really underrated. A lot of people seem to think he sucks, but you know, it also gets screwed over a lot. He gets BS penalties. People can chop you all day in IndyCar and spin out and get you a penalty. That's how you pay somebody back in IndyCar. No, I'm kidding. That's how they should do it. Might as well. That's how you should do it. But anyway, uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and see you guys later.